This episode is sponsored by SmartVestor. Connect with an investing pro for free at RamseySolutions.com slash invest. You're listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, where we talk investing, retirement, building wealth, and outrageous generosity. Kim is with us. Kim is in Chicago. Hey, Kim, how are you? Hi, you guys. Doing well. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Well, um, my husband and I, thankfully, thanks to you guys, paid $180,000 in debt earlier wow. this year. So we're super wow. excited. Wow. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So it was 110 in student loans and 70 k in car loans. Man, you knocked it. Way to go, kiddo. How do you, I bet you feel yeah, like we free. feel really good. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank to you guys. I mean, we followed the baby steps. We got really intentional and um, had three babies along the way, but we did it. Mm, very good. Good for you. So how can we help today? Well, now I'm in baby steps four, five, and six. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a mortgage of three ninety, mm-hmm. um, and I'm saving for kids' college and also our retirement. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm doing fifteen percent on my four hundred one k. And my question is: My husband's a police officer, and he is on a um, he's going to receive a pension, which is seventy five percent of his income at retirement Mm -hmm. and he does not have a 401k there Mm -hmm. um so i'm trying to figure out how do i fund his 15 percent for retirement okay it's our 15 percent so we add up our total household income and we need to get 15 percent in retirement somewhere so we do not have a 401k Mm -hmm. at his place to work with we have one at your place to work with and you have two roth iras you could do as well so another 6000 each yeah. there. And um, so if you maxed out your 401k and you maxed out two, uh, $12,000 worth of two Roth IRAs, uh, would that equal 15% of your household income? Well, my household is 210 Okay. So you need about 30000 bucks going in. You know, you're going to get close. Yeah. You're not quite going to be there. But you're probably just going to max your 401k and max two Roths. And that's about as close okay. as you can get, unless you've got some self-employed income anywhere, do you? I do not, no. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think you're probably limited to that. He does not even have a 403B at the police department? I just asked him that to look into it a little bit more. He um, he said he was not aware of anything like that, but I'm going to check in a little bit more because I've heard of the um, – of that one, but yeah, I wasn't most of them sure have exactly deferred comp. Was. Most of them have a deferred comp 457 and or a 403B in addition to pension, and both of those would work. I would rather use your 401k and max it out, and then do two Roths. And if that doesn't get there, then I would use a 403B or a 457, one of the two. They'd be my last choice, though, to that get to the whole 15. percent But the point is, we're dealing with 210 times 0.15, so we're Thirty-one thousand dollars. We're trying to get thirty-one thousand into something. That's the point. Okay. And that—that's so between those two, and it doesn't matter whose name it's in, because you you have marital rights to your four hundred one k of your spouse. Um, whether you know, in other words, if there's a divorce, that you know, that's an asset that's laying there that gets divided up. So, if it's all in your name, it doesn't matter. Uh, like the big four hundred one k load up I'm talking about here. So. But the point is just take your household income, 15%, going into something for retirement. And the best thing out there, folks, for those of you listening, is a match. You want to do that first. The second best thing is Roth. The best thing of all is Roth with a match, okay? But match, Roth, traditional. So match beats Roth beats traditional. It's rock, paper, scissors, except there's only one way to win, okay? Match beats Roth beats traditional. And if you just go down that path, then you can do that. And so the 403B and 457 would fall in the heading of traditional because they're tax deferred like a traditional IRA or traditional 401k. Same same mess there. Same pile of fish hooks. Thanks for listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires. Need help with your investments? Connect with a SmartVestor Pro at RamseySolutions.com slash invest or click the link in the show notes. Ramsey Solutions is a paid non-client promoter of participating pros. Learn more at RamseySolutions.com slash smartvester.